Hello, this is Jose Coyola, Associate Planner with the City of Oxnard's Community Development Department in the Planning Division. Today I'll be presenting a Planning and Zoning Permit 21-516-26 Chad Oxnard LLC, doing business as the Artist Tree for Commercial Cannabis Business Retail Special Use Permit, SUP, for the project located at 600 North 8th Street for the Planning Commission hearing date on September 16. Project description, a request to permit the operation of a commercial cannabis retail facility within an existing 2,546 square foot commercial building on a 0.24 acre site. As part of the project, there will be a tenant improvement consisting of the installation of new partition walls, security upgrades to the existing building, minor plumbing upgrades, upgrades to an existing fire alarm system, installation of secure doors and windows, installation of new bicycle storage area, and the and to relocate a service loading door. Cannabis retail operations will be conducted between 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. daily. The application was filed by Lauren Fonsine. The project location, the subject site is located at 600 North A Street, which is just north of the downtown corridor. General plan and zoning maps. The general plan land use designation is commercial general CG, while the zoning designation is general commercial C2. The existing site, the subject site at 600 North A Street is abutted by um, the following surrounding uses. As noted here in this chart, um, all of the adjacent north, south, east, and west, um, as long as, and along with the project sites, general plan and zoning designations are commercial general CG for the general plan and a zoning designation of general commercial C2. The difference is the existing land uses that exist. At the project site, there's a commercial building. To the north, there's a secondhand store. To the south is a commercial strip mall, to the east is a used automotive dealership, and to the west is a multi-tenant commercial building. Existing conditions, as seen on the slide um, through the street view looking east, the site's already established. It abuts an adjacent um, commercial building already, um, and has plenty of parking and associated um, landscaping for the site. An ADA ramp um, allows access from the sidewalk as well as the private um, back of house parking area. Background, development history. The earliest building permit was issued in 1941. Since 1962, the property has been zoned general commercial C2. In 1970, a certificate of occupancy was issued for a real estate office. On March 19, 2012, the Planning and Environmental Services Manager approved Development Design Review DDR permit number 11-200-04 to allow facade and site improvements. Background, cannabis regulations. On April 2018, the City Council adopted a cannabis delivery ordinance, including permit fees. In January 2019, state legalized cannabis delivery for state licensed firms and eliminated the city's ability to regulate cannabis delivery. On June 18, 2019, City Council adopted Ordinance 2960, establishing regulations pertaining to manufacturing, testing, and distribution of cannabis. On March 1, 2019, City Council then adopted ordinance number 2965, modifying the discretionary permitting process along with other non-substantive ordinance adjustments pertaining to manufacturing, testing, and distribution of cannabis. Then on September 15, 2020, City Council adopted ordinance number 2985 to update the cannabis regulations in the city's newly adopted industrial code, chapter 16 of the Oxnard City Code, OCC. Background cannabis regulations continued. On December 1st, 2020, City Council adopted Ordinance Number 2994, establishing regulations to repeal and readopt the former city commercial cannabis regulations pertaining to cannabis manufacturing, distributing, testing, and retail dispensaries contained in Chapter 11. Commercial Cannabis Selection. On January 7, 2021, Tad Oxnard LLC, doing business as the artistry, filed a request to obtain a commercial cannabis business permit for a 2,524 square foot cannabis retail facility. On March 1st, 2021, Tad Oxnard LLC, doing business as the artistry, was awarded a, commercial, a conditional commercial cannabis business permit for cannabis retail. In order to successfully commence and inaugurate the commercial cannabis business permit, Tad Oxnard LLC, doing business as the artistry, is required to receive approval of special use permit as specified within Oxnard City Code uh, within the Oxnard City Code section 11-457. The site plan. This is the um, proposed site plan for the area. As can be seen, all of the activity will be done within the existing facility at 600 North A Street. 
Um, the site was parked at one parking space for 250 square feet of retail area already as part of the development design review permit and that site currently complies with um, those requirements. There is an excess of parking. Circulation to this facility's parking area is located off of 8th Street and as well as um, through public alleyways that run along the backside of the building. Um, towards the east, um, we have one that runs and then we also have one towards the north. Um, uh, going eastbound, um, they will eventually connect into Oxnard Boulevard. The elevations as stated before, the request is to eliminate two service doors and adjoining windows um, to go ahead and be replaced by a new service door um, in order for the floor plan for the proposed cannabis facility to be better um, operational um, area for the prospective tenant, Tad um, Oxnard LLC. Uh, moving on to the proposed repainting, my um, request for this facility is to repaint the building. Um, and the main colors that were chosen were a light gray as well as an Everest green. The Everest green will be uh, for the parapet walls at the top um, with the cornices, um, as well as the elements, uh, the tr uh, trim that borders the building, as well as the main tower elements. Floor plan and security plan. The applicant provided a security plan with a detailed floor plan, which was reviewed and conditionally approved by the police department. Security measures include private security is required at the property. Security cameras will be installed. Adequate lighting will be provided on site and cannabis products will be monitored, tracked and placed in secure storage. Public comments. The, public's, the, public site, uh, the project site is located within the Wilson neighborhood. On July 19, 2021, the project was presented to the public during a community workshop. On July 9, 2021, the site was adopted with project was posted with project details and, and co community workshop information and developer mailed out 1,582 meeting agendas, agenda notices to the residents of the Carriage Square and Wilson neighborhoods. The meeting was attended by approximately 52 members of the public and per persons had an opportunity to ask questions. Public comments continued. Staff received one comment, support of the project due to access and convenience, accessing cannabis products in the immediate neighborhood, instead of having to drive elsewhere. To date, staff has not received any further public comments regarding this project. Key conditions of approval. Condition 14, 40, and 41 are to abide by the city of Oxnard and the state of California's rules and regulations related to this business. Condition 37, the commercial cannabis business permit shall expire and be subject to the renewal process in Chapter 11 of the Oxnard City Code, 12 months after the date of issuance of the SUP pursuant to Oxnard City Code Section 11-459. Retail Operation Conditions, Conditions 57 to 59 and 132 through 133 provide regulatory action of cannabis retail procedures to allow only eligible members of the community to purchase products and allow for secure selling environment. Police Conditions, Conditions 80 through 152. Security features will be implemented as required by the adopted cannabis ordinance. Key conditions of approval continued. Fire department conditions, conditions number 153 to 172. This broad range of numbers indicates that the system is to be designed to be a safe facility. Community benefits and community relations, conditions 47 through 50 and 62 through 63. The project is conditioned to be a good neighbor and member of the community. Taxes and inventory tracking, conditions 51 through 52 and 64 through 72. These setup conditions help the operator be, respons be a responsible corporate citizen. Environmental review, in accordance with section 15301 class one existing facilities of the state of California's Environmental Quality Act CEQA guidelines, projects involving negligible or no expansion of use beyond the existing at the time of the lead agency determination may be found to be exempt from the request of CEQA. The project includes a request to operate a cannabis retail facility within an existing individual building, and the project will not increase the square footage of the existing building. No substantial evidence the project will have significant effect on the environment. A notice of exemption will be filed. Staff recommendation that the Planning Commission A find the project to be categorically exempt from environmental review pursuant to the California Environmental Quality Act CEQA. Guideline Section 15301, Existing Facilities, and B, Adopt Resolution 2021-XX, 
providing planning and zoning permit number 21-516-26 special use permit for cannabis retail subject to certain findings and conditions. This concludes the presentation for staff and staff will be available at the planning commission hearing date September 16, 2021 to answer any questions. Thank you.